Patient with drooping hand seeks advice. Dr. Thomas, I had a radial nerve injury when I had surgery on my humerus two years ago. Hand still droopy, no improvement. What can I do to recover? Guys, if you've had a nerve injury for two years and there hasn't been any improvement, you will need surgery. Physical therapy may be futile due to lack of improvement, possibly caused by nerve severance. When we talk about surgery for radial nerve injury, also known as wrist drop, we have some options. In a patient who has had the injury for a short time, it is not the case we have nerve reconstruction or decompression. We take it, reconstruct the functionality of the nerve so that the information passing through the nerve reaches the muscle and the patient regains the ability to lift the hand and stretch the fingers. However, when a lot of time has passed, those muscles that stretch the fingers and hand are no longer there. They have already atrophied permanently. In this scenario, we will need to perform a tendon transfer. How is this procedure done? We carefully make small incisions in the forearm area, utilizing muscles that are ambidextrous, which allows them to function similarly to others. These muscles aid in extending both the wrist and fingers effectively. It is not a simple procedure, but it is a procedure that has a satisfactory result, especially in patients who are dedicated to physical therapy, because the transferred muscles had another function that will now be new. Studying hard and dedicating yourself can help your brain grasp how to use tendons for wrist and finger extension, filling the functional gap effectively. If you've had a radial nerve injury and want to know what treatments are available, as well as more information on how and when they should be performed, like this video and subscribe to our channel.